Hello YouTube, Trail Freak here coming at you from the bike shed. It is a little bit different from the last time that you seen it on video. Did a little finish my bench, got a back wall up and everything. Today, but today, today I'm going to be uh, putting a film protection on my Reckoning LB build. I'm going to be using ride wrap. See so yeah, ride wrap right here. I got the full kit which covers like almost all of the frame. So that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try to do it anyway. They make it look easy on the uh ride wrap website. So we're, I'm gonna give it a try. But first <clears throat> So I'm going to give it a try. This is not a tutorial or a how-to. This is just seeing if I can do it. And maybe somebody else, if y'all watch this and I'll do it, if I get it on there all right, maybe you say, hey, I can do that too. But we're going to be doing that. And also, I'm going to be talking about... Uh, we're also going to be talking about... Um, we're also going to be talking about a T-handled hex set allen wrench set that's comparable to the new part tools set that is half the price so i'm gonna look at that in a few minutes after we get into the rad wrap ride wrap stuff can't even talk i can't even hardly say that word but it's the easiest word to say anyway let's get uh let's look at the box and look inside let's look inside the box and see what we got in here let's step over to the bench i got a bench now Mm. all right nice little box little ride route protection kit i got the full kit it's an evil for reckoning lb and this comes all the way from whistler that's like one of the best places you can go to mountain bike is a whistler whistler bc canada all right we're gonna open this thing up and see what's all up in here well first of all you got your uh, actual wrap. Ooh, you got a nice little microfiber towel here to help wipe your frame down and get it cleaned off. And you got your uh, diagram to show you where, you know, where everything goes, where all the pieces go. So that's like that's the whole frame. So. That's, that's gonna be awesome and it's a little bit intimidating but try to get through it and get it on there also uh, we got a little box here it's got the installation tools so that's gonna have your squeegee and all that stuff in there let's see oh look at there stickers everybody loves stickers I'm glad we got some of those and we got the uh, install solution, which is supposed to be baby shampoo. That's what they recommend on the, their earlier. I don't think the kits came with this you know, a couple years ago. They they recommended uh, using baby shampoo. So we got that. We got two pre-installed clean wipes. And squeegee should be in here. It's way down there, but it's stuck up in there. Got you a ride route squeegee. Ain't that, that's cool. It's nice, it's nice and soft to help you get that stuff on there. Well, that's everything in the box right there. So I'm going to go over. I'm going to look at the instructions. Make sure I got everything and uh, get myself familiarized with this stuff. And uh, I got me a bottle ready for the uh, solution. I'm going to put a couple drops of the uh, solution in there and have my spray down liquid ready so all right let's try to do this all right i get the frame sprayed down i think i might have to add a little bit more of the solution it's kind of it's pretty sticky so let me do that real quick
and spray it down a little bit. Yeah, you want it to slide. You don't want it to be sticky. You want it to be able to slide it around, but you don't want it to slide too much. I don't think mine's sliding at all. I gotta get that dialed in on the on there. All right, we're gonna take a little break from uh, wrapping the bike there, and show you these T-handle Allen wrenches that is that is very comparable to part tools. All right, this is from a company I found on Amazon. It's called Power Built. It's an eight-piece kit, just like the uh, part tools kit. So we're gonna open this box up and see what we got. Okay. Alright, we got the stand here. Nice little metal stand. I can looks like I'm, I can mount it on my uh pegboard there. Got that. Now you got all the wrenches. Let's see. Just dump them out right there. You know, let's go over the other way. It's gonna line that out right here. Ooh, that's a big boy right there. It spins, it's probably not as smooth as the part tools, but it is it's very similar to the part tools. You know, you got the you know it's blue, whatever. It's blue and stuff like that. You got your adjustable, you can make it a T-handle, L handle. See, that's pretty nice. The only thing, I mean it's not as probably not as built as good as part tools, but for the price. You know, it's going to work for me. It'll probably work for a lot of you, too. You know, the only thing bad about it, you know, like if you saw Seth's video on a, his review of the set, you know, the ball in, they don't have a ball in. And I kind of, I'm kind of disappointed with that, too, on these, because ball ends do come in handy. But overall, I believe it's a pretty nice looking little set here. Nice big handles it's got little detents so you slide your handle in whatever position you need it in spins a little bit not not fast but you don't really need it that fast just enough to lessen the friction on your hand yeah not too bad but I believe it's worth it for half the price of the part tools. Not knocking part tools, I make some great stuff, but they are not budget friendly. I mean, I like to do stuff budget wise. If you've seen my other videos, you probably picked up on that. Where I do, you know, I built that budget XC bike and stuff like that. But uh, I believe these are gonna come in real handy for me. Uh, 
you know, just looking at them and feeling them, they, they're pretty good. So I'll have a link in the description uh, to where I found it. I found them on Amazon, so you just type in, uh, just type T-handled Allen keys and these will pop up. They also have the Torx uh, set, the star bits, and the green handle, you know, just like the uh, Part Tools. Part Tools. Part Tools have theirs and the green handle for the Torx, the Torx bits. So, or star bits, whatever you want to call them. Anyway, rambled on enough about these things. I think these are pretty good for the price and save you some money rather than getting the uh, Part Tools. So that's my look at the power built T handle Allen key set. So check them out. All right, I just finished this old uh, ride wrap on the reckoning there. Man, I do not want to do that again. That was a pain. It's not perfect, but got a couple little bubbles in there and it, you know stuff like that. But it's on there. It's gonna protect the frame. Man, I don't want to do it again. But uh, yeah, I got the ride wrap on there. So that's it for this video. So. Uh, if you liked it, like and subscribe. And hopefully, next couple months, I will be putting more videos out because still no computer. My computer still kaput. I'm going to try to edit this somewhere and get it up. But anyway, check out Ride Wrap. Got some good stuff to wrap your bike with. Also, check out the uh, Power Built Allen set. These things are pretty cool. Half the price of Park Tools and probably the quality probably is not as good, but that's pretty good. It's not that bad. So check them out. I'll put a link in the description. And that will be it. So just ride, man. We'll see you.